I am Jamal. I was involved in Family Finding in Ohio. At first, I didn't think it would go as far as it did. My county worker was looking for my mom so I could have support when I turned 18. I know the county had trouble finding her. Once Connect stepped in, the door opened to my family tree. It was almost mind blowing. I met extended family that I didn't think I was gonna see again. I didn't think Connect was gonna find as many people as they did. I had pictures of family. I enjoyed learning about family and their memories of me. I'm happy that they didn't forget about me. I missed out on family reunions. Connect helped me plan events with my family to get us rolling. When I first got involved, I had suspicions when they were finding people. I met my sister, brother, and my granddad, grandma, and auntie. It was too good to be true. They were actually finding family. When I met family, I did remember. It was awkward, weird, and I was nervous. I have people who remember me, but I don't remember them. It was sometimes sad, but it was still a good feeling that you have family that still cares, even if you can't remember. You get used to feeling awkward, but you feel more joy and optimism in meeting family. I don't think I will be where I am right now without family finding. I have Connect to thank for my family now. It was scary, but it's been a great journey. My name is Jennifer. I am a program director with Connect Ohio and was Jamal's family finder. Jamal was referred to Connect a couple months before he turned 18 to support him create a lifelong network of support. When I met Jamal, he had no contact with his family for over 10 years. No phone calls, no birthday parties, or holidays with family. When we introduced family finding to him, Jamal asked for two things, find my mom and find my granny. Jamal wanted to be able to go to cookouts, the movies, and spend holidays with his family. Through our search efforts, we identified over 100 family members and we engaged several maternal and paternal relatives, including his mom and granny. Within two months, Jamal went to his first 4th of July family cookout. Two months later, he hosted a family potluck dinner for 12, planned a Halloween party, and spent Thanksgiving and Christmas with his family. I remember when I was driving Jamal back from his family's 4th of July cookout. He looked over at me and said, I have people. This statement is the essence of family finding. Everyone has people. All young people in foster care have people. And we must commit as family finders to be relentless in our searches, steadfast in our engagement, and insistent that all young people need the belonging, unconditional commitment, love, and lifelong support of their family, chosen family, and community. I feel honored to have supported Jamal's family reconnect. However, my role is very small. I am reminded our role in working with youth and families is facilitator, connector, catalyst. We do not do things to or for people, we matter them. We reinforce that families know their needs and can meet those needs with the support of family, kin, and their communities. We must continuously challenge the dominant narrative and center the social and historical context of the families we serve. I am reminded of Dr. Jessica Price, who urges us strongly to move beyond evolutionary change to revolutionary change within our child welfare practice.